I'm Johnny, and it's time for Arguing on the Internet. And it's almost time to get to some Honest Eras proper ranting about music, but somebody's wrong on the internet. First, I want to make a little note. There's this whole Isis thing going on. Look, Isis is an Egyptian goddess who's almost as cool as Eris. All hail Discordia. We should really be calling these people Daesh, or is it Daesh? I am horrible at pronunciation. I'm hoping somebody can help me out here. I read this really interesting paper, links down in the doobly-doo, all about this different name that Syrian activists have for, let's be honest, these total nut jobs. Bring this up because on the same article, I watched this video. It was very moving and it was very powerful. It was a satire about Daesh or ISIS. It really drove home something for that it's really one thing to be talking about these refugees and the Syrian crisis, these things that happen to these people over there. These people are othered in a lot of ways, and they're not seen as people. That's kind of a problem. So watching the satire, again, links are down in the doobly-doo, really opened my eyes. And then there's subtitles. You should go check it out right afterwards. It's extremely eye-opening. It's kind of funny. And just to prepare you, it's kind of brutal. John Green has got a lot to say about this as well from slightly different perspectives. And if you haven't watched this video on the Syrian refugee crisis, just go do it. It's right up here. This is a man who really knows what he's talking about. It's important to note that this video is two months old. So I've spent the past couple of days seriously arguing on the internet. I've been having a hard time sleeping just because I keep thinking about all this stuff about Syria and refugees and what's going on in France and it kind of rolls around in my head. All this arguing just makes my blood boil. Somebody's wrong on the internet. But there's a good side to a proper internet argument. Somebody had posted this little meme about Justin Trudeau, how he's letting in the Syrians and, oh my God, what about our vets? It just seems so wrong. And I started to really dig into it. And for instance, the photo was a photo taken in 2012 at the Calgary Sikh Center. It has nothing to do with Syria. Being Sikh is being a religion. Being Syrian is being a nationality. Like, th these things do not make sense. So why was that photo chosen? I made a counter meme to it. The thing exploded. Like, 12,000 people reached off my Facebook page. Like, wow. That was really cool. But what I wanted to do with it was just speak the truth and ask pointed questions. In the coming arguments that are going to happen, the more people speak truth with respect and ask questions and assume good faith, the better. The arguments are going to be heated. We're not talking about arguing apples and oranges or apples and PCs. We're talking about people's lives, people's livelihoods. We're talking about what it means to be a Canadian, what it means to be an American. We're talking about what it means to be human. We're talking about very fundamental questions, which put us face to face with things like war, torture, our own mortality. So yeah, tempers are going to fly. But I ask, be reasonable, be rational, and assume good faith. Because here's the thing. When you're arguing with someone, you're probably not going to change their mind. But that's not the only mind that you're going to have an effect on. There's a whole lot of other people who are watching, who are listening, who are not necessarily engaging the conversation. And if you're arguing a point of view, the point of view that seems most rational, that seems most reasoned, is going to be the point of view that looks the best. You are literally being an ambassador for your beliefs. So, until next time, arguing is fun.